Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Billy the Bat Boys Corner. Today we have Atlanta Brave, Matt Marsbury. Thank you for coming on. Oh, thanks Billy for uh, coming out here to talk to me. Uh, the Braves drafted you in the 15th round in 2013. Uh, what was your, re your reaction when you got the call? I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty excited. I mean, I didn't care at that point who drafted me. I just wanted to play beyond um, college. And when I got the call in the 15th round, I thought it was awesome. And I was ecstatic and pumped up. Me and my parents were watching it, so it was just a good feeling. Uh, in 2015, the Braves called you up to the major leagues. What was going through your head when you got the call? I'm not going to lie, I was very surprised that year because I started that season out in high A. So I started out in high A and I spent three months there and threw well and then got called up to AAA and I was only in AAA for 11 outings and then got called up. I was very surprised, but I mean, I was humbled by it and it was a great experience. Uh, most guys don't go through that process going right from single A to the major leagues in a short time. For you, how was it? It was good. I mean, um, you definitely um, learn on the fly. You got to learn how to pitch to people. You got to learn how to uh, be mentally strong and mentally tough because that's the one big thing in there. It's a grind. You got to learn that if you make a mistake up at that level, it's going to go somewhere. It's either out of the park or it's somewhere else. So, you know. Uh, your first major league strikeout was Lucas Duda of the Mets. Uh, what was it like getting your first K? It was awesome. I mean, it was like one of those things that was um, finally out of the way because I think it was like six outings or five outings before I actually got a strikeout. At first, I was just getting like lazy pop-ups and ground balls. So I was like, oh, man, I'm wondering if I'm ever going to get that. But once I finally got that, man, I settled in and I just felt good. So. Uh, what are some of the things that you're doing to get back to affiliated ball? Um, I'm coming to play here. I'm trying to get uh, my body right. Um, coming off uh, the shoulder injury I had, I'm just trying to um, make it back. I'm just trying to throw healthy. I'm just trying to show teams that I can throw healthy right now. That's my thing. I'm playing just to show teams I can throw healthy. Um, I want to keep grinding and get my way back. I just got to show I can throw healthy and throw strikes. So. Uh, what type of training do you do in the off season? I do. I uh, I do a little bit. I do a lot of weightlifting. I mainly do Olympic lifting. That's uh, for me. Um, Olympic lifting is one of the better um, lifting styles. Um, I trained with Top Velocity down in Louisiana um, with Brett Porcial. He's a really good dude. They they know how to do stuff. Like before I went to him, I couldn't throw without arm pain. And after I got done working with him, I'm not 100% velo wise back yet, but I'm I'm in the upper 80s, maybe low nines, and and I'm throwing healthy. So that's what. I care about right now. My last question, what advice would you give to a younger player? Just keep grinding. Um, no matter what t anybody tells you, if somebody tells you you suck, someone tells you you're not good enough, someone tells you you never have a chance, don't even listen to them because it's, they're just mad that they don't have the opportunity that you have. And Just be thankful for the opportunities that you have to go out and play baseball every day because there's other people out there that would kill to have your opportunity. So just grind it out. Don't listen to others. Have self-confidence and self-worth and play baseball. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Billy.